Semper Car guy here with a very special scan tool. This Foxwell NT809BT is a 7 inch touchscreen, wireless, bidirectional, OE level, all system professional diagnostics tool at a very decent price, which on paper makes it a great deal. So let's review its functionality, see what makes it special and how good of a value it actually is. A little bit of information on this side, we have a 7 inch display, Android 9, 4 core CPU, 1 gig of RAM, 32 gigs of storage. And the most impressive part here is that it has a 4000 milliamp hour lithium battery. So that should last a very long time, but yeah, let's check it out. Even though the case is of a larger size, uh, there's not that much in it, which I really like. That means there's not a lot of extra cables and things we don't need. What you do get is a uh, nice user guide. So this user guide has actual decent English. I read through it just a little bit to see if I'm missing anything. Everything looks good here. You also have your warranty card if you'd like to, uh, you know, fill out for the warranty. Of course, we have the wireless Bluetooth adapter that plugs into the OBD2 port. Very nice. So you don't have to really be even in the car to diagnose the car. You have your uh, type C connector. All right. For charging the device, I assume. And let's take a look at the device itself. As you can see, it's very good size. We have a pretty large screen. So it should be pretty easy to see everything that you will need to see. Uh, it has rubberized sides, so it's not going to slip out of your hands. On the back here, we have a stand so it can support itself just like that. So you can then read the display and work on it without having to hold it in your hands uh, at the same time. You have USB type A port right here. So this will be useful for plugging in a mouse or keyboard and you have a USB type C for charging the device and of course the power button. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to power it on, install all the updates, and then we're going to go to the car and check out all of its functionality. So of course, one of the cool features of this scanner is that it's actually wireless. So you just have to plug this into your car and then you can basically be whatever you want within like 30 feet. So let's just get this plugged in and start working on this. And of course, what that means is that I can quite literally just sit in my garage and work on the car. As you can see, we are connected to the VCI, so we can be fully in control of this car just from basically anywhere around. So I can just take this scanner and I can just stand here or sit here and work on the car. So it's pretty cool. And you might be asking, why would you want to be outside of the vehicle while working on it? Well, if you want to activate the electrical fan or your coolant pump or something like that, you might want to be next to the engine and see what's actually happening or if it is happening. But anyway, let's go back in the car so we can be a little bit more comfortable. Well, at least easier for me to show you and we'll go through the features of this device. All right, now that I'm comfortably sitting in my BMW i3, as you can see, I have uh, used the little stand on the back of the scanner to hold it on top of the steering wheel. Super convenient. I don't have to hold it. I can just use it. Uh, you know, however I want. So that makes it kind of uh, very easy to use. Another thing that's very easy to use is this interface. It's very intuitive, easy to use, very smooth. You can see how smooth it is and there's no delays. Also does pretty good job at scanning things quickly. So that of course has to do with the quality of the hardware that's being used for making this device. So before we talk about the items on the main screen here, let's talk about some of the items on the secondary screen, which are pretty cool as well. So we have remote control. This will allow your support to connect and help you with items that you may not be you know, comfortable working with. You also have firmware updates. So you can update the firmware for the actual device. You also have your VCI manager. So this is for the little adapter that we plugged into the car earlier. You also have your file browser and you have a coverage list. So you can go in here and then enter the device and the brand of your vehicle and it will tell you if it supports it. Now going back to the main menu, we have settings and in the settings you can change units, language. Here are all the languages that are available in case uh, you need those. You can also make it easier to read by changing the font size also sort things in different ways and enable or disable automatic updates. So if you're plugged into a power socket and you have um, a Wi-Fi connected, it will update itself as it goes. General settings will go there in a second, but you also 
are able to uninstall uh, vehicle software and clear data in case you want to sell it or give it to somebody else to use uh, now going back to system settings this is basically android settings and you can go in here and connect to different wi-fi uh, hotspots and um, bluetooth devices and things like that you can also see your battery life in here so we're at 92 percent at the moment and we still have about 13 and a half hours left so it's pretty good should last you at least a full day uh, you can see your storage and you can set sounds and security lock if you want to lock this device so nobody else just logs in and uses it um, and yeah a few things like that going back to the main home screen uh, we also have account so you do need to activate this device when you first uh, connect it to wi-fi it will not allow you to update anything without doing so but you do not actually have to have a an account to use it data manager will allow you to store screenshots and um, basically record as you're doing things so you can play back and see how uh, or show it to a different technician or things like that and of course you can run reports and save those or email them to your customers now going to updates this is as easy as it gets once you're connected to wi-fi you just hit upgrade all and it will do everything for you it will update all of them probably takes about an hour since as you can see some of them are pretty large downloads so it might take a minute but um yeah everything is done on its own you don't have to do anything all right with that done we have two main uh items here we have diagnostics and we have maintenance maintenance is going to be all of those um uh, basically special functions uh, that this device has a lot of and the main function here is diagnostic so let's do that here are all the vehicles that it supports so there is i think close to 110 vehicles that this thing supports so basically anything you can possibly think of this will most likely work on all right here at the top we have vin so this is going to be auto vin and what it will do is automatically scan the vehicle and figure out its vin number and once it does that it will tell us all the information about the vehicle just like that and then we can yes say that this is correct indeed and then it will turn off the ignition and basically cycle all of the modules so that it can connect to it properly and um, you know make sure all the information is up to date of course if you don't want to use the auto van you can just go straight into the uh, selection and select the vehicle that you are in manually once it loads, we just go to diagnosis and here we have quick scan or control modules. So control modules will allow you to select the specific modules that you would like. So you can do something from drive or you can do something from the chassis or whatever you like. So you can select the specific module and that will save you time by not having to scan the entire vehicle. In our case, we're just going to do the entire vehicle scan and let it scan everything. So let's see how long it takes. Well, as you can see, it's going pretty quick. It's already at 12%. And this is a BMW i3, so there might be a few different um, modules on here. Also notice while it's scanning that we have a battery voltage here at the top. So that's very useful. You don't want to run the battery low on, uh, on a vehicle, of course, when you are scanning it. So this is something to keep attention to. Very useful to have in the corner like that. All right, so it took about a minute, but we did scan 25 different modules. And as you can see, it's still very smooth. Uh, one of the benefits of this scanner is that it can do all system scan. So it will basically scan every single module of every single system on your vehicle. That's very important because if you get a regular OBD2 tool, it will only scan, you know, engine and maybe sometimes a transmission module. So you'd be missing all of this other information on here. And here, as you can see, we have some modules that have some faults in it. So as an example, we can go to the head unit and see what kind of codes we can find in here. We can go to read codes and it's going to show us what's on here all right so we have uh image data invalid some communication issue no not really worried about those so i'm just going to clear them and if they are just you know codes that pop top if you go back there should be none if they are permanent codes then they would stick here so as you can see there's nothing there it could have been because i upgraded my screen from small to a big one in this car and maybe it didn't clear everything perfectly we can also see live data here so we can see all of this information for this specific module but of course you can do that for any module not just uh you know pids like you would normally see on the obd2 scans this will show you everything let's say we can go to audio and uh, just see you know some information so i'm going to select it and at the moment you see mute is not activated so if i go ahead and 
press the power button, it mutes and it shows us live uh, as we are doing. I'm going to adjust the volume. As you can see, the volume is adjusting live as I'm doing it just right there. So that's very cool. And of course, you can save it. You can record it. So you, well, let's say we can click record. And then as I'm adjusting volume, this val value is changing and it records it. So it saves it to the data manager that we saw earlier. And you can just go stop, boom, save. You can also print it from here or take a screenshot just like that. Boom, we're just going to take a screenshot and done. Anyway, let me go to a different module so I can show you a little bit more. Let's go to the instrument cluster. And we, have, of course, have the same information here. We can also go to live data. We can see, as an example, some general information. And we can see the onboard button. So if we go and click OK, it's not pressed at the moment. So that would be the button right here. So if I press it, as you can see, it's telling me that it has been pressed. Next, let's go to active test. And this one is very important as this is your bidirectional functionality. So you can do uh, action or active or actuation test, whatever you want to call them. You can basically activate different things on a vehicle, starting from anything in your engine. So your electric water pump, your fans, uh, you can even trigger injectors. Uh, you can do uh, relays, you can do buttons and things like that, lights. For example, something easy to show you, we can do uh, the indicator light. So I'm just going to hit activate and then I'm going to show you the screen below. See, right there. And then if I click deactivate, it stops. But basically, I think you get the idea. You can activate anything on the vehicle that is on any of these modules. All right, so I wanted to show you a couple more of those. So if we go to body control uh, module and then we go to active test, uh, we can do stuff like uh, the central locking system. So we can literally uh, lock the vehicle. So let's listen. The car just locked and I'm gonna deactivate it. The car just unlocked. All right, so we'll just do option number, let's say five and we're gonna activate. That, and we're going to deactivate and they stop. You can basically do anything like that in almost any module. Well, in every module uh, that you can imagine. As long as it's available on your vehicle, you can do it with these options. From this main scan menu, we can, of course, also save this. So we can save this to the actual uh, uh, device right here, or we can save and print, or we can save an email. So you can send this to whatever email you like. And once you're done fixing everything, you can just hit erase and erase all of the faults on all of the modules and it will do it for all of them one after another. And of course, reading the faults after. So if you fix certain things, you will see if there's anything or any permanent codes remaining. Let's go all the way back to the main menu and look at the maintenance items. There are a lot of them here. So if you'd like to see some of them demonstrated uh, within reason, do let me know and I'd love to check those out for you. But you can do ABS service, you can do AFR adaptation, battery registration and programming. Very cool CVT. So for your transmission clutch adaptation, you can adjust uh, the uh, odometer on some cars, not all of them. You can do the smog, uh, electric parking brake, uh, fuel pressure test. This is very impressive. Uh, G sensor learn, gear learning, headlamp, uh, injector adaptation and uh, compensation adjustment, language change of the vehicle. So you can change what the language of your vehicle is. Uh, oxygen sensor test, oil reset, uh, prime fuel pump. That's very useful. Also seat matching, steering angle sensor, turbos, transmission adaptations, DPS, TPMS, transmission oil and windows and door so you can adjust how far your uh, window goes. Oops, went too far. But yeah, this is a lot of maintenance functions, which is very impressive. Um, a lot of scanners have what, two, three, four, some have 10, 15. This is 30 plus. But anyway, let's talk about what makes this device special. I've highlighted a few items here, but to be clear, this is a very modern, you know, Bluetooth enabled wireless device with a user friendly UI and it's super smooth to operate, which I like. It has OE level functionality, you know, with those active tests and all of these maintenance items that really adds up. It's of course bi-directional and it has those 30 reset functions. You can do one click updates. 
has a big screen that's easy to use and it's a modern screen so it's not laggy so you can also graph things and i wanted to see how well it uh updates uh through the graph so let's go to graphs and we're going to go to multi-graph uh let's select something that we can adjust so i'm going to change the speed okay so see i'm changing the speed of my air conditioning i just turned off i'm going to turn it on to high And you can see how well it uh, adjusts. Pretty cool. This is, I think, the highest refresh rate uh, graphs that I have seen on any scanner that I have reviewed so far. It also has a built-in kickstand. Uh, it has really nice, rugged build quality, and it came with that pretty cool case. Some of the negatives, I would say, is that you have to register the serial number. So, you know, before you can get any updates, so you have to spend a little bit of time doing that and updating before you can really use the later software but you know that's understandable uh, you also don't get a usb adapter uh, for the charger you get the cable but not the actual adapter included with the device so is it worth the price you may think this is an expensive scanner and no doubt 450 to 500 dollars is a lot of money but this tool can save you a ton of time and money if you work on different vehicles there are no fees for the first 18 months of ownership and thereafter you only pay for the updates you can still operate it as is if you like to or if you don't want the updates and then you don't have to pay anything of course if you work on a single brand of vehicles this may be an overkill and you can get a better deal by getting a brand specific scanner but if you work on many different uh vehicle makes this is a great tool but on that note thank you guys so much for watching if you'd like to purchase one yourself check out the links down in the description leave your comments or questions if you have some uh, down below in the comments like the video if you liked it subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next one